What's up graphic designers? Today we're gonna to offer a little bit of feedback from your submissions from yesterday. And we're gonna talk about how to enhance the quality of your design. And as we take a look at this exemplar featuring Sophia and Drake, you can notice that like every area of this design has meaning, has purpose, there's no empty spaces. We've got a slogan at the top, we've got layer styles, specifically stroke and gradient overlay. We're gonna talk about how to do that. But first, let's uh, let's pause and let's take a look at some of your submissions. I'm gonna actually start with um, Jennifer's and so she's off to a great start, I love this. As is Julia's, we're gonna return to hers as well later, but I'm actually gonna go back for a quick second. So Zayna's the best kit, she's a great kit. Sadly, she didn't set up a blank. Um, using file, new, print, letter. Right now she's on a lower res image and the quality is not gonna be amazing. But I like the idea behind what she's producing. Um, Serena, this is super cool. Um, thank you so much, Freddie. Freddie, if this is you, you have to put your name and the file name, but this is off to a great start. Thank you so much, um, Winnie. I love your enthusiasm, Winnie, for disposing of your trash. I really appreciate that. Um, in contrast, g -Dom, you don't look super enthusiastic about you know, popping your Coca-Cola can into the recycling bin. But I do appreciate Biden taking out the trash. He did that for the last four years. Draft, Victor, this looks great. You're going to go to Defont.com. And I really like what Gabriel did with his hand. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, in a minute, we're going to talk about how to achieve this effect. The one thing I would say is it might be more fun, Gabriel, if you had this, uh, this bag itself at a little bit of an angle rather than at, like, the bottom and top parallel with the side of the page, with the bottom of the page. D-Thang Jizz is also enthusiastic about throwing out garbage, I love that. Um, Ian, I like this idea. I can't help but notice that G-Dong has his hand all the way in the recycling bin. You're gonna go to thefont.com, you're gonna get some fun fonts. Shout out to Angel, this looks great. Um, Jason, I love it, he's outside the school. We're gonna talk about how to uh, enhance the overall quality of your image. And you know what, you guys are all great kids, but I love Zoe's idea the best. Keeping lab clean, one home run at a time. Why not? I love this, I love this idea. We're gonna talk about how to execute the effect of her holding this uh, Diet Coke can in just a moment. I'm not sure how I feel about the High Line as the background, although I do like taking uh, trips down on the High Line when it's nice afternoon in the spring or the fall. Um, Darren, this background is bananas. There's a lot going on. Um, I'm not sure that's the one that we wanna use. I do love uh, Lola's visual. She's starting off right right now on a great foot. First step with a boogie. All right, so this is what I'm gonna suggest to a lot of you guys. Probably in this particular moment, Darren the most, but all of you guys, I would encourage you to reconsider your background. Um, and here is what we can do. So I just went online, I went to Google, and I typed in simple background design. So a lot of you guys were inspired by that original image that I presented, right? And so that's kind of shaping your thinking when I had, um, you know, I think it was Sophia and Drake right here with this New York City skyline. But you're not wedded to that. You're not like limited to that. Instead, what I did, I just searched simple background design, and then I went to green up here at the top. And then I really like this, and so I visited this image, or this website rather, um, freepick.com, and I saw it right here, I left, click it, left clicked it, and when I did, let's continue as Andrew, when I did, a window popped up, allowing me to download this for free, and as a high-res image. So what everyone, what almost everyone did yesterday, and what you can do just about every day, is you can click File, New, we're gonna go to Print, Letter, Orientation, and Horizontal Mode, Create, right? That's what we're gonna do. And um, I grabbed this background, and I think that this background is really, really fun. And then you're gonna add this garbage can, as I know many of you already did. We've got the Doritos. Um, some of you, however, were thinking about adding the school. So if you are really like committed to including a lab in the background, um, here's what we can do. I'm gonna press Command T, even though I know and you know that this is super low res, but we're just gonna roll with it right now. And our school looks a little bit like a like a supermax prison, that's right. So what we can do is if we click filter and then uh, making sure that black is in the foreground, white is in the background, filter, filter gallery, we can experiment um, with some of these other designs. So I noticed that we've got photocopy there. I don't love that. Stamp looks weird. Torn edges is kind of interesting visually. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press okay and uh, I'm gonna drop the opacity 
And it looks like I'm kind of combining the two, right? So I dropped the opacity of our school onto that green background to achieve this effect. We're going to talk more ways, talk about more ways of like combining layers as the year progresses. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a student, specifically Julia. Thanks, Julia. Appreciate it. And I'm going to right click the magic wand. We're going to grab the object selection tool. We're going to grab her. And here is how this is going to work. It's pretty straightforward. I think you guys know this already and actually you know what does merit a little bit of review is that um you guys were asking me today like how do we get rid of elements if our selection isn't perfect so i selected the polygonal lasso and i'm going to click on subtract and i'm subtracting i'm subtracting because we don't want that that looks much much better i'm going to press command c i'm going to go to not that that's a project i'm working on command v and we're going to do command t i'm going to shrink down julia who is demonstrating, um, I don't know, great stewardship skills. Why not? I'm gonna press check to confirm. I'm gonna grab this Doritos and we're gonna take a little bit of inspiration from Gabby earlier. I'm gonna press Command T. I'm gonna increase the size of this bag. We're gonna rotate. And now here is what we're gonna do. We want her hand to be over it. So there's a few things, a few different ways we could do this. I feel like the easiest way is I'm gonna click on layer six and I'm gonna use the, I could use the elliptical marquee. Instead, I'm going to use the rectangular marquee. And because I know I'm on that Julia layer, I'm going to press Command J to make a copy. Right. So there's two copies, two copies of Julia. And uh, I'm going to press M for rectangular marquee. I'm going to make a selection. Command C, Command V. Oh, OK. That makes sense. And so now what we're going to do is simply put this on top. And uh, what we can do is grab this bag of Doritos. Yikes. I'm going to press Command D, making sure we're on that read a layer we can shift this up and then you guys this is kind of new so we're going to pay attention i'm going to hold command and then i'm going to click on the dorito bag and the thumbnail and the layers palette so when i do that it creates a layer selection all the way around it you guys see like the little ants running around the perimeter of this dorito bag i see it and you see it so what we can do now is if i click on the layer uh six copy the julia copy and press e right i can make a nice selection and eliminate all of that so it looks just like this that looks cool and i'm going to zoom out that looks awesome so here's why we did that if we didn't do the layer selection right and i just pressed e for erase certainly we could drop the opacity and so in fact let's do that because we i've been illustrating how to do that and we pressed e for erase and then i'm erasing but it doesn't look super duper professional so instead ladies and gentlemen v zero hundred percent I'm going to go to the Doritos layer. I'm going to press and hold command. I'm going to click the layer thumbnail. We got the layer selection. E for eraser, the top copy of Julia. E for erase. And then this looks amazing. If we wanted to warp this Dorito bag just a tad to make it seem a little bit more realistic, you guys, shout out to everyone paying attention. I'm going to press command T. And then at the very top, next to where it says by cubic, we've got this little icon right here where we can warp um this particular layer and so now i can go like this okay so maybe it looks a little bit more like uh a dorito bag that she's clutching in her hand amazing i'm gonna press command zero or command minus to zoom out finally last but not least i'm gonna press t for type and um julia has got to come up with a celebrity of her choice I'm going to press check to confirm. So it's going to be Julia and so-and-so are keep lab clean. And we want to add a gradient overlay. A few of you guys are asking me about this today. If we click effects, right, and then we've got all of those fun options, what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down just a tad until we get to gradient overlay. That's cool. And so when we click on gradient overlay, we've got this window. And um, we've right now we're in the orange folder. But if we did iridescent, this is fun. This is also cool. Pastels. I want to check out pastels. I like that a lot. And uh, I'm going to press OK to confirm. And if you wanted to, you could uh, manipulate the kind of gradient that is. But I'm going to add one more layer style. I'm going to click effects. We're going to click stroke. And we don't want black. Instead, we want white. And you know what, guys? I think Freddie had the position on the inside when he was working on his project yesterday, um, the uh, Red Ribbon Week project. Instead, we want the position always, always, always 
to be outside. That's gonna look much, much better. I'm gonna press check to confirm. And you know what? If we were so inclined, we could add a third drop shadow. I'm sorry, a third layer style, specifically the drop shadow. And when we do, it's gonna look a little something like this. Yo, you guys, so cool. Opacity is at 84%. That's a little too much. I'm gonna drop it down so it's more subtle. So it's 36, I'm gonna press okay. And here is what I know. If we wanted multiple layers of um, text, but with this same um, layer style, what we could do is we could press Command J. And so now I'm gonna use the move tool. I'm gonna click and drag. It's on here, I'm gonna zoom out a tad. And Julia, you're hanging out with Rihanna or whoever, whatever. And now we've got the same um, layer style on a separate font. I'm sorry, a separate layer. Command T to reduce the size. It's gonna look a little something like this. So you guys are gonna experiment with backgrounds, subtle backgrounds. You were the hero, your celebrity's the hero. You gotta include a fun slogan, just like how I did. Start from the bottom, now we're here talking about, um, you know, encouraging students to keep it clean. Um, and we're gonna take a little bit of inspiration from Zoe, who said, cleaning up lab, one home run at a time. Let's go Yankees, let's go Dodgers, let's go Knicks. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Save your request to PSD, you're gonna submit it as a JPEG. Good luck.